Hello and welcome back to Heart of the Hole. Today we'd like to welcome a new sign into the club. Yes, that's right. We have signed young goalkeeper Andre Moreira from Atletico Madrid. Uh, the young Portuguese goalkeeper has joined Aston Villa on a loan deal. It could be a fantastic addition to the side. It's great to see us actually be able to make a sign. And now we've got the money behind us. We can put the money in towards the wages. And it seems that Edens and Suarez aren't messing about in letting Bruce get what he needs uh, so far. This you know, being announced pretty soon after they've obviously come in and taken control of the club. It seems as if Bruce must have had this transfer planned for a while, obviously. Unfortunately, Sam Johnston did join West Brom for £5 million. Whether Whether or not we can actually spend money on signing players is one thing, so we've had to loan in a goalkeeper. Moreira joined Atletico Madrid back in 2013 after playing his football in Portugal uh, and hasn't actually made a start for Atletico Madrid at all. He'd been sent out on loan and whatnot. Um, and this is a goalkeeper that him himself has only made 37 career appearances which isn't a lot that's you know that's just under a full season essentially um, so he's a relatively inexperienced shot stopper from from what I've seen obviously uh, highlight clips on YouTube you've got to take him with a grain of salt but he has made some some decent saves uh, and I'd imagine he would be playing understudy to Jed Steer who's um, finally got his first team spot almost nailed onto a head uh, obviously he'll provide great competition for Steer if he does come in and I'd imagine that he would be featuring in sort of Carabao Cup games FA Cup games just to phase him in and get him used to English football uh, and this signing could potentially see us loan out Sarkic our younger Belgium goalkeeper who looks very promising and I thought he'd be playing understudy to uh, to Jed Steer. It looks like that's been Mark Bunn's role. Obviously, if we sign Pereira, I think that kind of shoves out Mark Bunn. And obviously, Sarkic, with him being young, inexperienced, he'll need to go out and get some first-team football. Because last season, we did actually loan him out to Wigan Athletic, but we ended up recalling him because he didn't play at all, really. Which is a shame for a young talent like him. Obviously, this is a loan signing, so it's temporary. But... You know, to, to play in the study to Jed Steer, get a bit of competition, we could be very good because I do quite rate Jed Steer, um, but it'd be interesting to see how we get on with Moriari um, as he sounds like he could be a promising goalkeeper. He's not really played too many games, uh, so obviously coming straight in and playing in the Championship, we could have a situation like Galini on our hands where it could be a bit of a catastrophe. So I think it would be a good idea for him to be the understudy. Um, obviously play league and uh, league cup games fa cup games just to build up his experience uh, and then potentially even contend for the first team spot with jed steer now what's interesting about this transfer uh, is he's obviously portuguese which uh, and being portuguese he he's a, he's actually a client of george mendes super agent who uh, had recently attached himself with wolverhampton wonders uh, and done wonders there so uh, although um some of some of the dealings may have been a bit dodgy. Uh, it looks like we've we've got a client of uh, of George Mendes, so uh, we'll see how things go with this. And uh, it could potentially be an avenue to some more Portuguese players or some more of George Mendes' clients joining Aston Villa down the line. Obviously, with funds provided, I think it's a, a fairly solid signing. Uh, we've kind of got you know we've got plenty of plenty of options now in the goalkeeping department. Uh, so potentially, if we can obviously raise the funds somehow. I would like us to see us go and get ourselves a new centre-back and left-back. Uh, obviously there's been news that's come out from the papers saying that James Chester would be given a new deal at Aston Villa, which is absolutely fantastic news, um, but I do think we need an extra backup centre-back. Uh, I think it would be uh, it'd be a very good idea because, you know, it, one injury, you know, Chester or Elphick gets injured and then we really are going to have to struggle. So that is it for now. Let us know what you thought about this signing in the comments below. Do you think he'll start ahead of Jed Steer? We'd like to know what you thought about the video. Hit like if you enjoyed it. As I say, comment your thoughts and subscribe for more. Up the Villa.